up guys? Today we're gonna take a look at some Nintendo games that are way too easy. Now let me make something very clear. All of these games on this list are games that I love and I recommend and are great games. So I guess a good alternative title to this list could be four great Nintendo games that I beat with ease personally. Regardless with that, let's get straight into the video. The first one here is Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo. My gosh, what a great game. One of the first SNES games I ever played. And I remember upon this first time playing, my eyes were glued to these stunning graphics that were before my eyes. Each level and world I got into was more beautiful than the last. But that there was actually kind of the problem. I was getting to all these new beautiful worlds but I was getting to them really easily with no real hiccups. You see, platforming and side-scrolling had been my jam on the Nintendo Entertainment System, and when it came to Donkey Kong Country, all my skills that I had built up from my NES days seemed to transfer over flawlessly to this game, and I got through DKC with not too many hang-ups at all. And with that, like I said, Donkey Kong Country is still a fantastic game, and in my opinion, probably in the top 20 games of all time. In 1990, the Nintendo Entertainment System was graced with one of my favorite video games on the system, and that's Chippendales Rescue Rangers. This game was all I ever wanted in a video game as a kid. Characters I love, great co-op, a fun, upbeat soundtrack, and beautifully colorful levels. This was my type of game. Here in Chippendale's Rescue Rangers on the NES, you go through many different levels at a very fast pace and in a very tight and responsive manner. And I think that right there is kind of why the game was so easy for me. The game was so responsive. The controls here handle perfectly and they are so tight in the game. And every move you make is beyond accurate to your fingers and its actual movements. This right here is the key to great platformers and truly made the game a bit easy for me, but also a serious blast to play. This is a must play game, single player or multiplayer on the NES. And also you guys, come on, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers for Smash Bros. Just about a month ago, we got a wonderful experience in a new Kirby game on the Nintendo Switch called Kirby Star Allies. This is exactly what I expected a new Kirby game, and I enjoyed the game through and through. But I must say, when me and my kids beat the game, even with how much we enjoyed the game, we were like, wait, that's it? I know there's more to do in the game and we could do different modes now and we could also 100% the game if we want, but as far as the main story goes, we were a little bit let down. But let me be clear, did we have a blast playing the game? Yes. Did we make some great memories playing? Yes. Do I recommend the game? Well, I would say the first time around before beating the game, I totally said yes. And when I talked about it on the channel, I said yes as well. But now looking at it after beating the game, I would say wait for a little bit of a price drop. Still a great game, still a fun game, but I would wait till the price drops just a little bit, maybe 40 bucks. In 1994, on the Super Nintendo, we got one of my favorite games of all time, the sequel to Punch-Out, Super Punch-Out. Now, I know many people may not agree with me on this one, but I don't know how or why, but I have always been able to breeze by this game with ease. It's weird because I was never that good at the NES game Punch-Out. Now, I was good at the game, but I was never great at it. Super Punch-Out was also my favorite boxing game of all time. Each character you fight is so much different than the previous. The game does not take itself seriously at all either. Some of the characters are epic and some are downright hilarious. All in all, this isn't a complaint about the game either. I don't even look at it as a flaw. I enjoy this game like crazy. I think Super Punch-Out is a fantastic game that you need to play on the Super Nintendo. I myself just found it to be easy. 
All right, guys, that's it from us here at Superhero Game Squad. This video is your chance to brag in the comments. I just realized that's basically what this video is. It's a big bragging station for everybody. What game for you is too easy? It doesn't mean it's a bad game. It might be a wonderful game, but what game for you do you just breeze through and think, hey, I beat this. It's still a good game, but the challenge wasn't really there. All right, you guys, make sure and like the video also to subscribe. We are here four to five days a week, and we do live stream at least two times a week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day, and thanks for all your support. We really appreciate it.